Well, now on Afternoons on TUE, things are going to get a little bit noisy. It has been some four years since Stomp was last in Australia. They are back now and they will be performing in Sydney from September 10. They have been around since 1991. The stats are quite incredible, performing in 50 countries across five continents. More than 15 million people have now watched them perform and we have five of them in the studio right now. Angus, Adam, Phil, Ivan and Dee. Angus is going to be the spokesman. Welcome Hello. to the program, Angus. How do you do? Very, very well. And you've look, I have to tell our listeners we are on radio, but in the five minutes before you got to the studio, you have gone around the offices of TUE and you've managed to pick up a, a box, a tray from the oven, a platter, uh, a plastic garbage rubbish bin, bin. A, a plastic garbage bin lid. Is this what it's like for you day in, day out? You just see <laughs> thing and say... We could use that. Uh, yeah, it's a little embarrassing. We <laughs> can't help but bang things. But I'm seriously, what do you travel with when you travel around the world? I mean, Mate. do you travel light or you just say, we'll pick up the instruments when we get there? Oh, no, we, we travel with a, a, a good water stuff. You know, we've got uh, shopping trolleys and, and pots and pans and bins and 44-gallon uh, drums. Yes. And, a whole a brooms. Must be interesting Pumava. checking in a shopping trolley. Do you get a trolley at the airport to carry the shopping trolley? Uh, no, 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 no. That that'd just be ridiculous. No. <laughs> <laughs> now let's let's go back over a little bit of history of Stomp, and and the story goes all the way back to 1991. Um, to Luke Cresswell and Steve McNicholas back in Brighton in the United Kingdom, they decided to. They had an idea and. Yeah, surely couldn't have pictured the success. Oh, I don't know. It was—I think it was a conceptual like festival show that they came up with and toured around festivals around the world. I saw it originally when I was ten at the Melbourne Comedy Festival mm. in '91, and uh, yeah, it's just gone strength to strength. I think they did it for five years, just the eight of them, and realised that they might have to get some others in to uh, to give them a rest. Well, it's become such a such a world act. It's such a unique act, but it's a it world is. act, and. One of the major performances was at the closing ceremony at the London Olympics last year. I mean, what That's a right. thrill for the, those who got to perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a few of us here got to got to be involved with that. Yeah, amazing. All right then. Well, uh, I, I'm. It's with some trepidation that I do this because there's a lot of mums listening at the moment and dads at home with kids, and I'm a bit worried about my own kids if I tell them <laughs> this, about this performance, what they've done. Yeah. I'm looking in front of me, so I've got a box on my left. I've got a an upturned plastic garbage bin on my right. There's the oven tray. Mm -hmm. There's a platter. Mm -hmm. There's a Nescafe blend tin. Nice. I'm seeing kids this afternoon, you know, if they get wind of this, just pulling things out of kitchen That's cupboards right. and just banging them. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, How just tell, tell mum to hide the nonstick um, and, and the china and you'll yep. be fine. You know what I mean? And, the, and call it art. And call it art. <laughs> Lovely. So what are you going to perform for us right here? Uh, we're going to do a little, uh, a little piece for you. We're just part of, just what, what do we call this one? Well, if, if in the show it's called suspension, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but we're not suspended right we're, now. We're going to call it your raided uh, kitchen routine. The, the best you can come, <laughs> with, come yeah. up with from TUE. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here on the afternoon show on TUE, this is a treat. Now, we've had all sorts of performers sitting in this studio just sing and, and do all sorts of things. But this is a little touch of mayhem, I think. We stop performing for us. And I'll tell you more about uh, where you can get the tickets for their performance in Sydney coming up in September. So, ladies, gentlemen. Take it away.
that is extraordinary. Do not adjust your sets at home <laughs> if you're driving through the traffic. That is stomp. Now, again, I've just been blown away by this. I didn't realise when you, I thought you were actually that was a coffee mug. You're actually drinking coffee, but I didn't realise the coffee mug was going to be part of the performance. It's got a workout. Uh, just amazing. Just ama- was that a tic tac? Packet of Tic Tacs that was making an appearance yeah. further up. Oh, excellent. Again, I thought you brought them in to eat. And it became one of the instruments. Heavens above. That is quite extraordinary. And uh, you can see Stomp performing tickets available through Ticketmaster. In fact, the performance is right across Australia. In Perth from uh, August 13. In Melbourne from September, or rather August 20. In Adelaide from August 27. Down in Canberra from September the 3rd. And then here at the Theatre Royal in Sydney from September 10. And you're going to have a pretty big time. It's going to be a great time across Australia as well. Yes. Come a beautiful time of year. Yeah, mate. Well, Kick back beautiful. and relax. Exactly. Well worth a look. Is anyone, just let, let me know this, is anyone in the public just going to see an impromptu performance that you might be just having lunch at Bondi Beach or something and you suddenly feel well, that you want to perform a song and then all of a sudden it might happen? Maybe. That's what makes it impromptu. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do your best without getting arrested. That is my uh, motto in life. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, Stomp have joined us today. And again, I would dare say the most extraordinary performance that has ever been put together in this studio. These studios weren't built for that sort of thing, but you've just, uh, you've blown it away, literally. Thank you for coming on and good good luck with the tour. Thank Thank you very much.